Welcome back on my Rockstars to another episode of the Pokemon Billion Diamond Nuzlocke. So, we did end up losing footage for when we fought Barry. So, the only person we lost when fighting Barry was our knocked out Kara. So, we replaced it with a Medichan that we caught in Victor Road. Nothing else to really replace it with. It's the best levels in typing. So, we're going into our very first battle, which, which I believe is against Aaron. This is our squad at the moment. It's pretty, pretty solid. I like it a lot. I am worried about Medichan not being able to do literally anything, but it wasn't worth the time training him up. I think he'd be better as a death fodder mon everyone else is pretty much 55 plus we're rocking our solid team i like what we've got here everyone's got a berry or a leftovers or a quick log or something except for metachan it's going to be very interesting so he is a bug type aaron so we're going to start off with our boy luffy i think this is, might be the best bet hopefully it's going to go well but i am extremely extremely nervous about the elite four guys you have no idea how tough this is going to be i mean i know cynthia is going to be tough but i haven't touched this elite four since my live series so i forget it all their mons their strategies and what makes them difficult because this is a very hard elite four so okay he starts off with dust ox that's not bad for us we can do this dust ox and we have luffy up front i do believe right okay so we have flamethrower and we have sludge bomb which would be better though i think maybe flamethrower but sludge bomb is sad. it's not very effective let's go with flamethrower i think that is going to be the smart choice how much is this going to do to this guy that's going to be the real question and yeah that's about a third damage i wish we got a burn but i don't know if flamethrower has that effect I will gladly take that bug buzz. How much is that going to hurt, actually? Oh, that, well, that wasn't all that bad. That was a critical hit, okay? So, you know what? That uh, We'll take that. That's not bad. He has black sludge, so he's going to heal a little bit each time, too. A lot of these guys are going to have items like leftovers in this. So, let's continue with flamethrower, and we should be good here. If we get lucky with the crit, it will take down Dustox, but I don't think we're going to get that lucky. And, hey, there we go. I called it. I called it. Manifest destiny, baby. Oh, my God. Okay. That's pretty, pretty cool. I will take that. Omni's level 60, so we're chilling at the moment. Cynthia's top is... 64 i'm pretty sure it's not 65 and that's even in this game in the old game sheer cold let's not learn sheer cold uh maybe sh we should actually you know what? yeah let's get rid of ingrain ingrain can be screwing us over in the future we've seen how to go before against uh our boy cyrus let's not use ingrain even though it gives a little bit of hp back it's like its own version of leftovers so we're definitely gonna switch out to ooh maybe our our dialga just to be safe here dragon steel it's a bug type trainer you know we want to keep all of our bases here the best that we possibly can you never know what they're gonna pull out especially against the hair cross we are weak against it because it's fighting but overall i think think this is pretty maybe we should have gone out to medichan but i don't think medichan has any really good powers anyways i think uh slash has critical hits flash cannon lower special defense uh i think we should go with this brick break how much is that gonna do that's gonna hurt jeez that hurt a lot but flash cannon if we can get a special defense drop we'll be fine i just don't think it's gonna one shot him no it didn't but that was a critical hit and he's got burned from his flame orb i forgot he held a flame orb okay we're good here uh we should definitely switch out a heal though who do we switch out to maybe omni he's bug flying that seems to be our best bet he was the best thing against the fighting gym so a scyther versus a bug fighting bug flying we definitely have the type advantage on our side with this and he goes for brick break again we're gonna eat that up like it was nothing at yeah, 23 hp easy burn does more damage i see him using a full restore here which is going to be extremely extremely difficult but i think we stick with a slash here and go all in for the critical hit there's the full restore air cutter is more powerful and stab because it's super effective but it's a special attacking move versus a physical attacking move which is one of the reasons i went with sword stance and then hopefully we're gonna slash it up because we have sword stance we should be able to get through this especially with hair cross out here we can just tank hits and heal until we get at least three or four swords dance off so we, sh we should be super chilling at the moment so we're just going to go ahead and keep running these swords dance over and over again because with this we might be able to just fly through the rest of this with our boy Sarathus since he resists pretty much anything they're going to send out Ooh, rock slide that's dangerous that's extremely dangerous isn't that quite effective on us bugs weak against rock flying it weeks against rock so that's that's very dangerous for us okay with the swords dance let's go for a slash finish this guy off and we should be fine yes there we go with the two swords dance we were killing it at that moment hair across by for the count that rock slide could end it our side there on the first elite four member which would have been absolutely horrible guys that, that literally would have ruined us best mcquinn that's not bad i think we should keep our scyther in and a slash or anything else 
would be a very good move for us to go with. Okay, so Omni's waiting for our directions, which is good. Um, let's go ahead, air slash this guy, finish this guy off. Hopefully, we, I mean, we do have a solid bulk up city. And how much damage does that do? That critical hit? There we go. That's my boy. Scyther. Oh, he's got a berry, though. Why do you gotta be like that? We did two-thirds HP with a uh, crit, though. So, I mean, is that fair to say we do a third HP per hit? And, ooh, I don't like that. Was it raising? It's raising its special defense. That's not good for us. It's raised both defense and special defense. That's horrible for us. Um, let's go for another sword stance. Why not? Let's raise our attack more since they raised the defense more. Plus, I don't think they'll have anything that can really, you know, massively do damage to us. So, we should be chilling. Acrobatics, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh, my God. Super effective. A crit, I think, kills us even at full HP. We, I think we should switch out. I think that's what we need to do. Oh, my God. That did so much damage. I thought we would resist it better because we're also part flying, but I guess not. Okay, but I guess we are primary bug. Okay, so we're gonna send in Gastrodon, a water ground type. I mean, we're not gonna have anything against this guy. Even air cutters are gonna do nothing to us because of our ground typing, even though it's super effective against water. So I think it makes it neutral, and we avoided the attack. So we got a clean switch in when we weren't supposed to. I will take that. Uh, I think we just go with the muddy water, and we'll we'll probably one shot the rest of its health. It wasn't full HP, so we should be all good. Muddy water super power. That did nothing. Oh my god, uh, we didn't get the accuracy drop either, that's horrible, okay, and that wasn't too bad on us, plus we do have leftovers, so we're gonna heal up about 14 HP each time, which is really nice, having leftovers on Gastrodon, I think is gonna be one of our saviors overall, let's go with Ancient Power here, maybe we get a stat boost or something, plus it's Rock versus Bug, so we should be good here, and that finished it off, easy peasy, that was super effective, that was actually the best move that we can make there, okay, that's two Pokemon down, we, we're, we're getting through it. We are getting through it. Gastrodon's level 63. We're chilling through it. Guys, this is not an easy, easy Elite Four, let alone an easy... Ooh, Aura Sphere. Yes! That's absolutely perfect. Okay, so Ancient Power, Flash, Cannon, and Roar of Time. We can't get rid of Roar of Time because that's our solution to the... Uh, what is it? Cynthia's Garchomp if we need it. We don't want to get rid of that. Uh, Ancient Power gives us boost, but it's it's such a low chance. It's like, what, 10%, I think? And it's only got 5 PP. Slash has high critical hit, even though we have a lower special attack. We don't want to get rid of that, plus it's a normal type move. And Flash Cannon Steel, which is stab, plus it has a chance to lower special attack. And it's a special move. Aurora Sphere is also a special move, but it's technically a fighting type. I think our best bet might be able to get rid of Ancient Time. Uh, and I said ancient time ancient power roar of times our best move. We don't want to get rid of that That's that's what we we have to have that if we can even get one of those off against that guard chomp That basically solidifies the victory if we can last the alga or any of our team all the way there Which is what we're trying to do Slash slashes critical hits are just so good. Yes, it's physical But we we can't ignore it and it's 10 more power than ancient power So I think yeah, that's definitely our best switch that I think that's our smart move There's nothing else that we can do about that learn aurora sphere instead. There we go. Everyone's leveling up We're chilling here. I think most of our main mods will be about almost level 60 when we get to the uh, Cynthia battle which will be very key for us and actually be uh super super good uh so i can't wait till we get there but it's gonna be a very very long journey that's for sure and i don't know who we're gonna do or have left for that journey so this is really easy we just go for ancient power on a beauty fly it's gonna go for quiver dance so that's an easy move for us to go with easy peasy if we're lucky we'll get a stat boost or we'll be able to one shot it but i don't think either are gonna come into play here come on ancient power give us something crit stat boost one shot hey we one shot him perfect i will take that you know we didn't get the stat boost but i will take a one shot of a pokemon that's what three down he's got what three left because each leap four member does have six pokemon oh my baby i've heard this is actually harder than a randomized version of this game because you have such it's so hard cynthia's ba base set team it's so difficult because everything on our team is just to kill all your guard chomp counter and then guard chomp sets up a two sword stance and you're dead no matter what and there's nothing you can do about it i don't like the way the team's looking though in health though that is very scary so at this point, our goal from here is literally just to figure out what is best for us to actually physically do. And then we got to continue from there. So uh, it sucks everyone's hurt, but I think this 
might be our best choice sticking in and everything so let's see drapeon's what he was bug poison i think he's dark poison now and so he night slash that's not good though see that that's not bad damage but night slash has a high critical hit ratio so we really gotta look out for that and that that could destroy us we did a lot with muddy water though that's absolutely fantastic plus we just lowered his accuracy a bit so there's our left there was that's healing in so that's gonna be awesome um, I think we could take a night slash crit, but the question is, do we want to heal or do we want to go straight in with muddy water? I think we can go straight in with muddy water and that will kill it. So let's do that and let's see how this goes. Night slash, come on, please no crit, no crit. Woo, baby! And that was a critical hit. So we survived a crit with at least like, what was it, 150 HP? So we're, we're, we're good. Okay, let's heal the leftovers and then we're either going to have to hyper potion or full restore to get up to full HP or basically full. Um, I don't know which one would be better. We want to save our four stores, so maybe Hyper Potion should be our best choice. We don't need exactly full HP either. We know we can survive a guy's crit with this, plus our leftovers already gave us health, so we're back to basically what we were before. Okay, he used Night Slash again. Yes, we avoided the attack because we've lowered his accuracy. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, that's really, really good for us. That gives us more health to take a critical hit too, just to be sure in case it high rolls, because high roll critical hits are a thing, and... I think we just go with Muddy Water. Yeah, I think this is going to be our best choice. Night Slash, we should take that even as a crit. Oh, baby, that was another crit. Like high, like I said before, high roll of critical hits for Night Slash. It sucks. It's just like Slash. That's why it's called Night Slash. And boom, Muddy Water finished off the Drapion. So we're really chilling there. That's really good for us. Oh, baby, this is scary. But we're, we're making progress. We're getting there. We deleted Aaron. That's pretty good. Okay, we got through that. Okay, that could have been so much worse for us, but we did it. Thank you for seven grand, but it doesn't really matter at this point. So time for us to move on to, I think, Bertha is our next challenge. Okay, so here's Bertha, right? Yes, Bertha. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a lot to learn, I think is what she said. And we're, yeah, we're just kind of spamming through the text. I don't care about the speeches. I've read them before. She seems to be, I think she's ground type. Is that right? Ground type Elite Four based off the way her gym looks? That a rock. I think she... Bertha, who do you, you have powered on, don't you? So yeah, you would definitely be a ground type gym. Yeah, there's Quagsire. That's not good for us. A water ground. I don't think we have anything specific to deal with something like this. We sent a Medicham, which wasn't that bad of us actually here to go with it. But I mean, we only have, maybe we should have went with Reversal. Focus Blast is our best move though. It really, really is. Let's go for it. See how this does. And that's not bad. 55 versus what a 49 that was a critical hit though jeez that's still good damage but i think we're dead here there's no way we survive we survived that jeez it's got basically 10 levels on us and it's stab and we're just okay so i'll take that though we're not we're not dying yet but we can't stay in here with this okay so if it's got earthquake which would be super effective on basically anybody i send in um omni would avoid it though wouldn't he because of him being a flying type so it wouldn't affect him so maybe that's our best choice going into scyther i don't think ice wouldn't do well for us at this moment i think this might be our best choice okay uh wood hammer would probably one shot him but if you get him in there and survive an earthquake is the issue here so we're gonna switch out earthquake i'm expecting again and no we use surf we should eat that up too though right we're bug flying okay yeah we, we ate that pretty well okay so we're good there we have no issues with that. So we're pretty chilling here. Um, I don't, Do I want a swords dance? That's the real question here. I don't know. I think let's go with one and see what happens here. And I don't know if I want to go for a second one yet. We got that one off. That's good for us. Let's see. I'm expecting him to use surf because he knows he can't use earthquake. He used recover. Okay, that's fine. It sucks because of the damage we've done on him. But at least we got the free swords dance off. So that's really good for us. See, uh, I mean, if we got the free source dance, we're going to take another one. Might as well, because we should be able to live anything he sends at us for the moment. And then we can just heal up and then one-shot him, which is what I'm going for. Surf, that should take us down to, what, what, 80-something HP, I think? 81, that wasn't a bad call. Okay. So there's our berry. That should heal us up to maybe 100 HP. We're all good there. 121, holy crap. Citrus berries are the way to go. Okay, with that in mind, one more sword stance. And then this should take us through the rest of the everything else. Unless I want to do one more. Setting up with Scyther is my biggest play at the moment. Outside of having just a tanky Pokemon Gastrodon for our squad. So that's kind of just what I'm sticking with. That is nasty damage, though. That is nasty. It's not It's not good. Um, and he can't kill us with the crit as long as we stay at the right HP amount. So And we heal at the right time. So we should be completely good there. He shouldn't be able to hit us with EQ. Mud Slap. I, I don't know what he would have. Toxic. 
Oh, that's not good. We have four restores and antidotes, right? So we should be good. But that sucks that he has toxic. So we know his three moves. We have three of his four moves now. No, wait. He didn't have rest, did he? No, he didn't. Okay, I was like, why? Wait, does he have rest? He might He might have amnesia, which would suck. That would raise his special offense. But I don't know if he technically he could use that. But I don't know how well that would work for him at the moment. Um, do we have something? Oh, wait. Poisoning. There we go. Let's use this on Omni so we can actually save all four restores. That's a good play. Barry is very good for us. I'm glad I had so many. Okay, and he used Surf. We should tank that. I hope even with the critical hit, which I'm worried about. Surf only has 10 PP. I think that's 304. So we're all chilling on that moment. Um, should we heal here? No, I think we should go in. And last Swords Dance. I want to see if we're maxed yet. Okay, we're maxed. So that's good to know. And we can take this Surf. So we'll be big chilling. We'll be big chilling. There we go. Perfect. That was a critical hit too. So we're, we, we're good. So we just got to heal up and then we can go all in with our best moves on each Pokemon. And I think we'll be able to get through this. We have 90 Hyper Potions after this. So we're chilling. Something like 44 stores and 4 Max Potions. So we're all good there. And then we're thrilled to bits and use Toxic again. We, yes, we avoided it. So I don't have to waste the time to heal, which is very nice. They gave us the free time too to heal. So let's go ahead and go with x Scissor. Was that be our best bet? It's technically physical which is what we're better at air slash might be more effective but it's less power and it's uh special attacking and not uh, slash though has high critical hit ratio but it's normal on the ground i don't think that's gonna do anything maybe i think x scissor x scissor has got to be our best choice overall come on and there we go we finished off the quagsire easy peasy it took a little bit of work but we got through it okay the real question is what are we going to do for the rest of the team because i don't know what she's going to have meta chance 47 and it's getting some things uh learn recover why not let's teach you recover and let's get rid of uh reversal i guess because of it because you're not really going to do anything anyways you're kind of just a death fodder at the moment because you're just such a low level and my high level struggle with these elite four members so we're, we're all good with that we got reversal and learned recover okay so she's got what five pokemon still pseudo wudo oh no oh we could we're, we're gonna take a risk here and we're gonna keep this guy in and because of our bolt or our swords dance we should be i'm thinking maybe we can one shot him with the slash uh especially if we get a critical but okay that did a lot of damage but it that landed a crit i was hoping that would kill if we got a crit i'm really worried about what he's gonna do next though i think one rock move might blast us out of the water i was really hoping to kill him there because of our sword stances oh god please 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 head smash oh my god that's gonna hurt that's gonna hurt that's gonna hurt oh baby we're switching out we're switching out we're switching out that was not a crit that was not a crit way to go omni he held in there that is insane okay um even if we didn't get a crit, I don't. Or a crit would kill, but a non-crit on slash wouldn't kill. I don't think. Even with our sword stance, because a crit gave him basically like around the Z, the the O to the W mark for that. So I'm thinking maybe our best option. I'm not really sure. We definitely have to switch though. But switching to who? That's the real trick of this question. Maybe I think yeah, Twilight Skies. Let's go. Yeah, it's our best option. I don't have anything else, so this is gonna be rough though. I mean, water, ground versus a rock type will be fine. I'm just glad Omni didn't die. I was really hoping to use those source dances to more fruition though. I really waste because I just wasted the PP. Now I have a whole lot of PP healing items. There we go, and I need them for Gastrodon actually. That is gonna be a big key for me. That's my tank of the squad. Okay, what do you got next? Uh, muddy water. Yeah, I I, I was thinking muddy water earth power but muddy water could lower the accuracy and it should kill it's a rock type plus it's half hp yeah so we're all good there perfect bye bye pseudo widow so that's two what two mons down yeah only is that only two pokemon holy crap we're in trouble if that's only two pokemon for us to take on so far this is gonna be bad uh who do you got next wish cash a water ground as well oh no 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 i mean we have to keep gastrodon in it's our best mod for this but i don't know how we're gonna outplay them um we don't i wish we had earthquake let's go earth power and see how much this does come on earth power that did solid amounts of damage you know i will take that bulldoze though how much is that gonna do to us that's not bad we took that we kind of ate that easily but that lowered our sp speed oh yeah our speed fell that sucks if we outsped before we probably won't this time because that neither of them are very fast pokemon hmm i think we still go with earth power that's gonna be our best choice ice beam that's gonna hurt that's gonna hurt that's gonna hurt oh baby i please don't yeah, okay no freeze we're good no crit 
And we finished the wish cache. Okay. Oh, baby. There we go. We got through this. That That is the most important thing overall. And Omni's level 61. That's great. More power to him. And let's heal up. And it all depends on what mon they have next. I don't have anyone that can take down ground types for the, the real cause of it. Golem? He's gonna have, he could have explosion, couldn't he? Well, I mean, we're a grass type, and so let's slend into grass ice here. Rock's super effective on ice, but I think we should have speed, uh, so we shouldn't have any issues here. But he could have explosion. I'm really worried about that. Or self-destruct. I don't know. This is not, not good. There's snow warning. Okay, and let's go with ice beam. Maybe ice beam better than stone, uh, wood hammer. And we just got one shot. Oh my god. A critical hit. I don't. I, we might have lived a non-critical hit. I. How did? I don't see Golem being that fast. Obama Snow slower than Golem. They were basically equal levels too. Fifty. No, they were it's fifty-six to fifty-six. And everything I had was super effective. That was such the right choice. I. I thought we were gonna one-shot him. I did not. Jeez, oh, that's insane. Okay. Um, Dialga is our best choice, being a steel type. So I think we just go with. Aurora Sphere or Flash Cannon actually in case we need to we can get that special defense drop um, I'm assuming he might have sturdy or not. So we're chilling there. That sucks I can't believe we just lost a bomb of snow of all things Oh, he was gonna be super good too. ice. He was my ice grass type That's why I got him. He was dual coverage That also makes him weaker overall. Okay, hit powered on that's not gonna be fun um, I think an earthquake would easily kill the alga. We might be able to survive one but a critical hit will definitely kill us. That's what I'm super worried about. There's a sandstorm. Um, okay, Aurora Sphere. I think that's our best bet. Come on, Aurora Sphere. Please do massive crit damage. That's what we need. Come on. That, that did almost nothing. Earthquake. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Please survive. Please. Oh, my God. 5 HP. That was not a crit. And we, yeah, we couldn't live a crit at full. Uh, we could barely live a regular at full. Um... I'm assuming he's gonna go for Earthquake again, right? So, a horrible choice would be to send in Luffy. Luffy would instantly be killed. Uh, most of my Pokemon at this point would be instantly killed by an Earthquake if we switch in. And we have to switch in. Even if we heal, we can't do it. I mean, we could try to stall. We have the potions, but the crit would kill us. The crit will kill us. I mean, let's let's think about this. Let's use a max potion and just hope he doesn't get a crit with Earthquake again. And then think about what we can do here. I mean, our bet. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Oh my god, that just eats it. Maybe Gastrodon? Maybe Gastrodon? But this is kind of a different situation than what we've had beforehand. And Gastrodon's hurt. I need a, a free switch into Gastrodon if I'm going to be able to do that. That means either sacking him on or making him... F Actually, yeah, that's just sacking him on. There's nothing that we can do. We have to sack if we want to free switch him. And oh my god, it literally does 176 damage to us each time we use the Earthquake without a crit. That's legit and insane insane um i mean maybe we take oh we can't get the chance to attack with dialga because we have to keep healing so we can't even do like roar of time with that and oh this is such a bad situation and we used all of our max potions for that because hyper potions weren't going to be enough oh my god um here maybe we go to i don't know who to go to i mean <laughs> Maybe Medichan, because it's a death fodder, so we don't want to lose anyone else. I don't know, though. Um, ooh, Scyther. Scyther, because he can't be hit by ground-type moves. What am I... Why am I not doing that? Be, I know he has low health, but he's going to use Earthquake without a doubt. Or any ground-type move, and it won't affect us. So we're, we're chilling. There's Earthquake. Yes, perfect switch in. And that, The Sandstorm. Are you kidding me? <gasps> I forgot about the Sandstorm. And that just killed on oh god that was my setup mon oh no what am i supposed to do oh, okay well we got the free switch into our gastrodon so we can heal that up and see how our earthquakes go from there because we should i think maybe even gastrodon can tank a crit i can't believe that though that's legit ridiculous oh my god full restore i i eh, full restore let's make sure we're at full hp a hyper potion wouldn't quite get us there it would get us close though but i want to make sure we're at full full health and see how this goes 229 hp i'm assuming he's going to use earthquake he used rest okay that's fine we can get some free hits in with him we've got what muddy water is our best move rest is going to heal him though so that's not going to be good for us um wait he has a berry 
He has, wait, what berry? Chet, no, not a Chesto berry wakes up a Pokemon from sleep. No wonder they have rest. That's so smart. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, Muddy Water, let's go. Come on, Muddy Water. Please just one shot him, please. I would love it. Oh, it's so close. One third, less, just less than one third of HP left. Earthquake, we should, we should tank that. Not very well, but 93 HP. Oh my god, that does so much damage. How are we supposed to get to that? We're up to 107 with our leftovers. I don't know what we're gonna do here. I'm not assuming that we're winning, okay? You have on your last Pokemon though, but you're, you're giving me a run for my money. Gastrodon's all I got here, and a crit might actually kill us. Um, we got Spid, so let's go. We're going Muddy Water, and this should kill him. Okay, we're good here. We're good. We got through Bertha. Ooh, baby. We're, we're done with Bertha. That's two Elite Four trainers down. We have two more Elite Four members, and then we have Cynthia. This is going to be absolutely insane. Okay, well, here we go into Flint. This is not going to be fun. Okay, so he's fire type. Omni wouldn't have been helpful anyways. We have Gastrodon. I accidentally hit my microphone. We have Gastrodon, which is really, really good. Uh, water ground, though, but an Infer his Infernape could be big trouble for us because it could have close combat, which could ruin our day as a ground type. Who else do we have? We no longer have a Bomb of Snow. We have Dialga. That wouldn't be good against Infernape on both sides of the table of his typings, fighting and fire. Let's go ahead and use the Hypnosis. Yes, we avoided it. Thank God. Okay, that's good for us. That gives us a free Earth Power, which should, in theory, knock out this Rapid Dash. Yeah, there we go. Free kill. Okay, five more Pokemon to go. Uh, what else could we do against Infern? Maybe Stunky? Stunky's a poison. It's Dark type, though, so it would be weak to close combat, and that would definitely kill Stunky. He has almost no physical defense. Maybe Medichan? to tank the hit i don't know how we do this maybe gastrodon just got enough defenses that we can actually tank a close combat and stall it um because he lowers his special defense each time lopany ooh, do we switch out for lopany i mean we could uh let's just, yeah you know what let's go into metachain here why not use him and save our main pokemon lopany's a normal type metachain's a, a normal no a fighting psychic so we're chilling here we just gotta get a move off and we'll be completely fine now he is most likely i think might outspeed me and kill me that's what i'm worried about or focus blast can miss oh fire punch he outsped and he we didn't do that much damage come on oh no he avoided focus blast okay again we can live it we can live it we can live it come on that's not bad that's not bad and focus blast please land there we go how much damage is that gonna do you're so low level comparison though that's not bad okay for a 57 via 40 what nine and even uh so i think we're pretty okay with that um they just used their oh it's got leftovers i was like there's no way it used this berry already right i mean let's hyper potion up medicine here since he can take the hits we might as well use him while we can save our good pokemon from the risk even though there is a risk we're slopping but i mean there could be fire punch again oh baby that that burn though that burn that is a big issue for us getting that burn through is not going to be fun what can we do about it um we can use full restores which i want to save um i don't think we have burn heals which sucks okay uh oh i think we could take another hit and it won't burn since we're already burned so we know that fire punch yep we're good we're good it's not gonna do 32 damage focus blast please land please come on i need you to crit kill honestly and that that's still solid damage okay Ooh, this is close there's just leftovers i'm worried about a full restore or a hyper potion with a crit we definitely kill but i don't think we're close enough to kill on the next turn which is kind of the issue here and so i think we need to hyper potion up make sure we keep the burn actually because then he can't burn us again so we already know how much damage we're going to be getting into each time so we'll be it'll be completely all good quick attack interesting strategy i think that did about the same amount of damage um but that gave him more hp to heal up first which is the big big issue so and we only have what i think one focus blast left so it's it's not good for us um i think we go for it yeah one focus blast let's go for it let's see what we can do here fire punch we should survive Ooh, baby it's so much damage and we missed it oh my god are you kidding me we needed that so badly okay here is i don't know what to do leftovers we got it okay okay mm, medicine was hurt by its burn that's fine uh do we want to heal do we want to sack um we don't have anything else that will do a lot of damage but we know it can take its hit so maybe we should heal let's full restore up make sure we don't have a burn on us this time 
make them more inclined to use fire punch hopefully because it's the ai will trick them because i don't know if they'll have anything else that'll do massive damage to us there's fire punch again we know we can take that that's why we want them to keep using it and uh, they're just back at they've already healed so much hp off because we had to heal oh my god this is insane um i think psychic psychic or strength psychic definitely probably is our best bet it's stab versus strength even though strength is probably a better physical move with medichan come on and that did nothing that did nothing whatsoever oh my god okay medichan can't finish this battle if he had infinite focus blast we'd be fine but there's no way he can finish this battle um Maybe Dialga, it's a normal versus a steel type. I think Gastrodon's still our best choice, so that's what we're gonna go with here. I don't know what else we could do in this situation, so we should be fine. I don't think we're gonna lose a Mon unless it's Medichan, but this is very scary, and ouch, that hurt. Okay, hmm. The real question is how are we gonna do this? Ooh, uh, maybe Muddy Water might be our best bet because it's stab high power. Um, but may maybe Earth Power is better. I still don't know. Um, they're all effective. Let's go with Muddy Water here. And it has a chance to lower accuracy, which is good considering they're using High Jump Kick. And if we can get that, that will do recoil damage on a massive scale, which will save us. So that's exactly what we want. That's the play we're going for because High Jump Kick is definitely the most effective move on us. It's fighting and it's physical as we're a ground type. So that's definitely what they want to be going with. But the question is, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, if they have another fighting type move or outside of that. So we're going to go with Muddy Water here. And high jump kick. And please miss, please miss. No, it landed it. But Muddy Water should finish him off. Please. I think this is what we need. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And yes, there we go. Okay, Lopin, he's done. That's what, three Pokemon? Three, I think. I think that's three Pokemon. That's scary, though. Uh, at least our Dialga is level 57 now, so uh, boys is climbing the ranks. That's a big positive for us. Jeez. Oh my god, we're what, half an hour into this, and we still have two, uh, an Elite Four member and a uh, champion left to fight. But there's no point in making it two different episodes. There's literally no point, because the other episode would be so boring. It would be so short, too. This this is the finale. This, this is it, guys. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay. We should be able to muddy water it. Easy peasy. That or Earth Power. I think... Muddy water is 90, um, 85 accuracy. That's interesting. I think I think we stick with muddy water. We know how well it works. Let's go. And I don't, I've never really had a big problem missing muddy water, even though it's 85% accuracy. It's so good. There we go. That's muddy down count. That was a crit. Way to go, Gastrodon. Something we needed. Probably not the best situation for it. We need it on something that can actually hurt us. But I will take it. I ain't going to complain. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll heal up with leftovers, giving us a solid, what, 160? Almost 160. And who is left? It's about to say, Drip Blim. Um, we can't hit that with Earthquake, can we? It'll, it'll have Levitate, because this isn't a randomizer. And we're a ground type. Maybe Boys is our best bet here. Right, yeah, let's slop in, boys. I think that might be our best bet. It's a, a Drip Blim? I mean, jeez, this... What is this thing going to do to us? He's a ghost type, not a fire type, right? Which is so interesting. Um, I think he still... Doesn't he still have... His, we haven't taken down his Infernape yet. No, we haven't. Okay. No effect. Uh, Roar time. Let's go go for it. Minimize? Are you kidding me? No. Roar time. I need you to land in one shot. Crit if you need to. Oh, my God. This is going to be so bad. And we missed the first one. Oh, uh, let's try Roar time again. Baton pass. He's switching out to infernape i guess i mean technically that's the smart choice um roar time if you just want to come in and finish this guy off so we don't have to deal with him that'd be really nice he avoided the attack are you kidding me oh my god um we can't there's no way we can stay in with diaga he'll one shot us for sure with close combat or like flail blitz or flame wheel anything so i think gastrodon even though it's still weak to fighting it's better because at least we count on one of its uh flipping typing so it's just fire so we should be fine plus it's tankier than dialga close combat yeah we took that and we weren't even full Ooh, now his special defense and his defense drop so we're, we should be chilling i think we might be able to one shot him but we have to heal first that's the issue okay twilight skies you pulled in big there we have there's no way we can't use a full restore a hyper potion i think would be too risky i think yeah full restore is our best option make sure we get up to full hp 
And this is going to be a very, very scary. Because if we lose Gastrodon, we have zero chance of beating Cynthia. That is my main mod for Cynthia. Mock Punch, that's not bad. We know we can take that. And we'll heal up extra damage as well. Plus, now we might be able to... We should be able to one-shot. We lowered his special defense stat. And he's weak to this. So, Muddy Water should finish him in this turn. Close combat. We'll live it even a crit, I think. No, we won't live a crit. But... Uh, that is still extremely good. This is, that lowers his special defense twice now. So we should be in his defense, but we don't really care about that at the moment. Come on, Muddy Water. This should one-shot. Please, please, please. And there we go. Okay. And I finished him off. That's absolutely amazing. Oh, baby. So now there's just that drip limb left, right? So, ooh, he had a focus sash. Oh, my God. That let him live. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. We need to heal. We need to heal. That's scary. I didn't think about a Focus Sash having been on a Pokemon like that. He really put that out on Fernape, of all things? Oh, I guess so. That kind of makes sense. Fernape doesn't have the best defenses. He can kind of get whopped easily, but he's so good. Okay, we're back at full HP here. I'm expecting uh, a close combat next, I would assume. Maybe another Mach Punch. Maybe to lower our HP more. We're going to go for Muddy Water. No, use Close Combat. That's a smart AI move because he knew Mach Punch wouldn't kill, but a crit Mach, uh, Close Combat definitely would. That's three special defense drops, and he doesn't have a Focus Sash now. This guy is dead. He can't. It's impossible. He, he's down. Infernape's dead. There we go. We're past Infernape. So all we have left is that Minimizing Drip Limb, which is going to suck on a whole nother level, guys. Seriously, this is not going to be fun whatsoever for us. Um, I still think Dialga is our best play with it, though. I mean, I don't know who else we would use overall, but it, it could be risky if we don't play this smart. I'm just super, super scared of this, and I don't know how this is going to go. Um, oh, God. Let's switch out. And I, I don't know. Dialga, you... Roar of Time, maybe? Maybe we go for Flash Cannons. We can drop it Special Defense, but that's... A, it's, what, a 15% chance, maybe, for Flash Cannon to do that? I, he can't do anything to me. He's what he's got he's a ghost type, so he's probably got what will o wisp He doesn't have an actual fire type move, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's just go for Roar Time on the first time. Especially because of the stupid minimize, bro. It's so annoying. Oh my god. He's just stalling the time. Because there's no way we don't and he avoided it. There's no way we don't win this. There's absolutely no way. It's not possible if we don't win this. I mean this battle, not the entire thing. Uh, there's the will o wisp We're burned. Not surprised there. Roar of time. Yes, we landed it. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, has he used full restores? I don't think he has. That so nearly killed it. And there's the berry, which is so, so annoying. Okay, we got the berry. So Roar of time will kill it again. But the ch the issue is PP and actually being able to hit Roar of time, which is what I'm worried about here. Um, blazing now. Good for you, Flynn. I am stressed of all levels. There's minimize again, which is so bad. Uh, that just raises his evasiveness so much more. What attacks do we have? Does he have though? I mean, he's got minimize. He's got baton pass. He's got will o wisp. So he's only got one other attack. Okay, let's go with flash cannon probably. Maybe we can get a special defense drop. Minimize. Oh, we're gonna miss this, aren't we? Because of that's what minimize number four. How many times can he do that? We can only sword stance three times. Flash cannon and he avoided the attack. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? Oh, we just can't land anything. Another flash cannon. Go for it. Strength sap. That's his last move. That heals him, doesn't it? Look, sap. That definitely heals him. And that does what to us? Our attack fell? Are you kidding me? So slash is no longer even an option. I mean, it's not an option anyways because he's a ghost type. But, oh, uh, I guess so I guess it doesn't matter actually because everything we have is special attack. And we're a special attacker. So that's fine. But, jeez. Um, flash I still, I still think flash cannon is our best bet. Strength sap heals and does so much damage though. That, that that's what's annoying about it. And it's just gonna keep lowering our attack. Flash can Yes, we landed it. Get a special defense drop. That didn't do all that bad of damage either. There's that burn on us. We take hits though from everything he sends at us. We just gotta stall it. Come on, another flash cannon. We need this. Strength sap also heals him though. So we're gonna have to hope it heals less than we do, damage-wise, because he's lowering our attack with strength sap, but not our special attack. Heal less. That healed less. He didn't go back up to full HP, which is the most important thing. He avoided Flash Cannon again. Oh my god! I don't think a Roar of Time would kill him either at this moment. I think he needs one more, like, a 20 HP gone, and a Roar of Time could kill him. Strength Sap is so annoying. Now he's back at full HP. This is so bad. 
He's just stall festing us. There's not anything he can do to hit us, but we can't. We can do damage to him, but we just can't hit him. And he's just not doing anything to us. We haven't healed in like four turns. We just don't need to. Well, I mean, we're gonna heal right here with the forest or get rid of the burn and go back up to full HP just in case of crits and who knows what. But at the same time, I mean, that that was a long time just to do what 60 HP of damage. So I mean, strength sap. I'm assuming it's a it's a ghost or a normal type move, and that's why it doesn't do anything to us considering we're steel dragon. And but this is insane, and our defenses are outrageous. And I don't think it'd be a special. It might be a, actually special move would probably make more sense. But anyways, we need to focus on what we're doing here. What do we go for? That is the real question here. Do we go with the last order of time? We know it's not going to kill him, and it might miss. That's the issue here. Um, I think flash flash cans are only bet. I think it's the best thing to go with. Okay, we still have the minimize to worry about, but at least he didn't use strength sap. But that would be dumb by the AI to do that, so it makes sense. And he avoided he avoided it. I can't believe that. Hurt by its burn, yeah. But I don't care. We only have two flash cans left. There's nothing else that we can do with this guy. So I mean, I think we need to use an elixir on flash cannon or diaga specifically if we want to be able to do this so let's let's do that um 10 bp of each moves that have been learned by pokemon max elixir i should do regular elixir we should be fine with that heal up our boy here there's an elixir on diaga so he's gonna have a full set of moves again so we're gonna be completely okay with that little wisp that sucks but it already burned. We're already burned. It just sucks that we have to constantly deal with fire damage. Okay, let's try flash cannon again. We've got 10 more uses of it. Already burned. You can't do it. And he avoided the attack. If we get one special defense drop, we're chilling. And we'll be completely okay. Even one flash cannon and then a roar time will be perfect. He just keeps avoiding the attack. So that's why I want to hit him with flash cannon first. Plus he'll heal if we don't. Because if we can hit him with Roar Time second, he can't use Baton Pass for anything. He won't use a, a potion to heal, which is what we want. See, that's not that was a crit. That had to be a crit. No way it wasn't. And no, that just did that much. That's insane. Oh my god, Willow is we're already burned. Flash cannon again. If it did that much, let's keep this up. And we hit again, and please tell me that's it. Yes, a critical hit. That's my boy, Dialga, pulling us through. That's the end of Flint, right? So we should be good to move on to who's the lucian i think lucian's the last one in this generation medicine level 49 i'm surprised it's still alive but it is kicking it and defeated flint that's absolutely amazing i can't believe we did that okay so our fourth elite four member battle with lucian this is not gonna be fun okay so this is uh, mr mime to start off with okay who did we lead off with again i remember who i left up front i think Medichan, okay, because I thought he was ghost type. Is he psychic type? Because he's got a psychic fairy out here. Uh, we don't really have anything to use against it, so I dazzling gleam. That's gonna one shot us, isn't it? We're dead. Yeah, well, there goes Medichan. Mark that as a death in the books. Oh well, Medichan wasn't doing anything for us. I sent him out as a death fodder in just to take the hit, see what we could do to this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and sing out Dialga here. Dragon Steel, we should be completely good. Fairy also can't touch us at this point, so he's only gonna have psychic, so we should be fine here. Flash Cannon, still super effective against Fairy. It's the same thing that Volkner used Iron Tail from his uh what is it his lux right on my mr mime so we're gonna use flash cannon plus if it doesn't kill him we get a special defense drop that did absolutely nothing to him are you kidding me okay let's keep this up though oh yeah he's got reflection stuff up oh no oh he used light screen didn't he and i don't remember okay that's fine that's fine that's fine there we go that's some that's still half damage and two hits if we get a single special defense drop we're good dazzling gleam doesn't that not affect us wait how does that Dazzling Gleam's fairy type, right? We're steel. Is it because we're main mainly steel? Is that's our because that's our priority typing? I have no idea. Okay, because fairy's not supposed to be able to hit dragon type. No, it's dragon types can't hit fairy types. I had it backwards. I'm an idiot. I'm a real idiot. It's literally I was doing it backwards. Okay, well let's keep up flash cannon here. We should be all fine if we can get any special defense drops. That's the key. We only have two left here. He's gonna keep going for dazzling gleam though. I don't know. So he's got what light screen reflect dazzling gleam. What else does he have? Maybe Psychic? Uh, Future Sight maybe? I don't know. Ooh, there's the special defense drop though. That's absolutely fantastic for us. So another one will do a lot more damage. But we should probably heal with the Hyper Potion. Let's heal up. Let's take us base clear. Does that take us up to full? What are we at? 64 plus 120? Yeah, we're chilling. 184 out of 90, 190. We're, we have plenty of HP. Dazzling Gleam, we're going to take that hit. We have been the entire time. 
I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping for Flash King is enough here. Come on, Flash King. I need you to be enough to take down this guy. That did a lot of damage. That did lots of damage. We have to heal next turn. Come on. And that was so close. Are you kidding me? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we got to heal and then we can move on. We're, we're out of flash cannons. And I don't... I don't think I should use an elixir or a berry just on flash cannon because it's not gonna be super helpful later on Dazzling gleam fine by us. You just keep moving that and using that move light screen war off Okay, so any move we hit him with so we just go with slash here the reflect still up though That's the interesting question, but he's got such a little amount of HP I think we stick with flash here plus if we get a crit we should be fine. He does have psychic though I called it. Okay, so we're good. That does almost nothing to us. Come on slash Okay, it goes through even with the reflect we should kill him plus there we go the chance of critical at which we got so we're chilling mr mimes down that's one out of six pokemon of this elite four member down and then we can move on to cynthia which is going to be horrible the reflect war off as well medichan we should definitely switch out here though uh psychic fighting i mean luffy's not gonna be very good against it i think twilight skies is our best bet even though fighting is bad for actually basically all of our team so Wait, doesn't Cynthia have a Lucario? So that's going to screw us over. It's a steel fighting type. That's going to be hurtful if we can't get through that. But I was worried about Garchomp. I think Garchomp's still the bigger threat. Okay, let's focus on this, though. Uh, Medichant, maybe we should... It's a Muddy Water? Or would Earth Power be better? Because it's Psychic Fighting. I mean, they're all effective except for Ancient Power. Uh, let's go with Earth Power. Um, ooh, yes! Yes, we have Wooded High Jump Kick. That's recoil damage. Come on in and that's so much damage yes perfect that's absolutely fantastic it's over just over half health in recoil damage and there we go earth power with the crit finished it off just to be sure way to go castrodon that's absolutely fantastic okay two pokemon down we're gonna get through this we're almost level 65 not really we're almost a third of a halfway there alakazam we definitely want to keep our pokemon in alakazam has no physical or special defense so i think we might just one shot him if we hit him with the right move so let's go earth power here it is technically special attacking but i mean it, it, it just looks physical for salt and attack there's future sight that's not going to be fun though future sight we know it comes in what three turns two or three turns there's a critical hit and he lived it i'm in massive shock about that because alakazam has no defenses whatsoever he's a glass cannon like lucario psychic we should eat that even with, ooh, the future sight might kill us if it comes in now, though. That's the thing. So we need to heal after this. Plus, we finish Alakazam off, so we're chilling there. That's three Pokemon down, right? So three more to go. So we're, we're getting somewhere with this. Ooh, Leftovers, thank you for the extra help. I'll gladly take that, especially with the incoming future sight. Please don't come in now. And it's about to send a Giraffe Rig, normal Psychic. Okay, so he is a Psychic-type master. Maybe we should go out to Luffy here because of that. But Psychic's super effective on Poison. But Dark dark typing uh maybe let's just stick in with gas yeah astrodon's just such a tank it could take on anything that's what i love about it uh let's go ahead bag let's heal up with a full restore we want to make sure we're at full hp a hyper potion will only get us the 224 out of what 230 236 i mean so well yeah we definitely want a full restore make sure we have full hp we still have 35 of them i think so we're chilling light screen a special attack all of our attacks are special attacks except for ancient power i think which is a big Debbie Downer. But there's the future site. Jeez, that did so much. We would have died if I hadn't healed from future site. That did so much damage. This is a future site of its 120 base power and it can't have a high roll or a low roll. So that's just what it hits every time. That's insane. Okay, that's okay. We're back up to full HP. What are they going to do to us though? Because how much damage they do to us is everything. Psychic, we should eat it. We really should. Come on. That's not bad. That's not bad. 157 plus our leftovers will heal us up. Okay, so that means we can take the brute force of the hit so far. I think we need to go straight in with uh, probably Earth Power. Earth Power. We want to save Muddy Waters overall. I think Earth Power is definitely what we want. Psychic. Ooh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt, especially because we're already low. Ooh, baby. We could survive one more, but a crit would kill us. So we definitely don't want to play with that odds. And Earth Power did nothing because of the Reflect. That's ridiculous. Or the Light Scream. That's it's it's insane how much that helps or flex and light screens. I always just try to toss them aside, but they they do so much. I need to remember that because I tossed them off on Mr. Mime. I never should have done that in the first place. But I had such a good move set on him. But it's it's he's dead now. It's all good. We can get past that. Okay, back up to full HP. There's the psychic. We knew that was coming, and we're gonna take that hit. There we go. 157 HP again. Plus now we're gonna heal up. So we're all good here. 
So what we need to do is maybe Muddy Water. We could lower his accuracy a little bit. That would help a lot. We could also Ancient Power for boost. I think we stick with Muddy Water. Lowering his accuracy could be a big helpful. It's a small chance on Muddy Water, but it could definitely do something for us. Come on, Muddy Water. I need you to do a lot of damage, even with those protections up. Come on. That did almost nothing. Are you kidding me? This is going to take us forever to get through Giraffe Rage. Quite literally. So, I think we just... Oh, Light Scream, we're off. Light screen, we're off. Okay, so do we want to... I think we need to heal. I think he, uh, we need him to attack us and not use light screen so we can get one move off with light screen um, being down. Otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. We just need that to happen. It, it blocks. Oh, there's light screen. We had to heal, though. I needed the health. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, that means special moves are going to do even less again. Back to where we were. Uh, light screens last four to five turns, I think, or three to five turns, and then they also have a good amount of PP, so we're not we're not stalling that out, and it would be a bad move to stall it out. Um, based off the moves, I don't really know. Uh, maybe we should go. Let's go for Ancient Power. See if we can get a stat boost. That would be really killer if we get some stat boost on Ancient Power. Plus, it's a physical move, so Reflect should wear off next because I think he has both up, if I remember correctly, and. That's, that's all right damage for non-stab, uh, low power compared to everything else we have. I'll take it, but we didn't get the boost off it either, which is killer. We need the boost off it, and that's what we're going for. We're going to go for Ancient Power again. We got two left, at, uh, one left after this use. We took that hit pretty good, but if we could raise our stats, we would be chilling, even with the light screens and everything up. There we go. Okay, we, we're going to heal up. No stat boost again, though. That's killing us. We need a stat boost. I know, what is it? It's, what, 10%, maybe 30% chance for uh, Ancient Power stat boost, which is killer. It doesn't happen all that often. And there goes, oh my god, a critical hit nearly killed us. Oh, it's okay, Gastrodon. It's okay. I just need you to hang in there, but we ain't losing you. No way. There's Ancient Power. Any boost? No, just leftovers? Are you kidding me? That's three Ancient Powers and no boost. Okay, well, that sucks. Uh, we're going to have to switch up our strategies here. First of all, starting with the full restore to heal up all of our HP, we need to be at full health. He is no one to mess with, Giraffe. Giraffe is scary. Normal psychic type, he just, it's, it's just bad. It's just bad. And there goes that. And okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought I was expecting. Honestly, I was kind of expecting another critical hit because that's just my luck. But we, we got through it. So now we need to go straight up attack. Light screen war off and we have enough HP. We can go all in. We can go all in. Let's go with Muddy Water. Let's stab. Come on. Yes, you psychic and not light screen. Come on, please be enough to finish him off. Please be enough. You ain't got no light screen this time. And it's stab. 90 base power. Come on. Yes, finish him off. Okay, bye-bye, Giraffe Freak. I'm tired of your light screens and reflects. They're annoying, and no one wants to deal with them, okay? Listen, no one wants to deal with them. Hey, Luffy's level 60 and Boy's level 58. That's awesome, actually, because we're going to need them for Cynthia. That's We only have three mods for Cynthia, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, we only have... Uh, Dialga, Gastrodon, and Stunky. I have no idea how we're going to win this this uh, champion battle, but I'm going to try my best. Bronzong. Okay, with that in mind, we should definitely... Ooh, he's a steel psychic type, right? Are we going to be able to do anything to him with any of our mons? Uh, we're going to send out our, our Dialga here. I think this might be the best choice overall. Steel psychic, though, is scary. We just don't have anything with anyone that we could really do big damage on now what you should do you should send out your pokemon so we can take this guy on bronzong who bronzoy's evolution right uh scary pokemon it's his last pokemon okay so we're, we're chilling here okay we just got to get through this guy which is not going to be an easy battle but we can do it we're gonna we full restore it up we're back up to full hp so that's what matters what is he gonna do earthquake that that's scary that hurts that hurts oh a crit kills us but that does exactly 100 damage to us being super effective which is kind of weird because earthquakes power is 100 um i know that should correlate but that's just not how pokemon usually goes so a crit definitely kills us um which sucks but that's one earthquake we could stall out his earthquake pps or we could switch to gastrodon who we know we could tank it just a little bit better there's two earthquakes and 93 that did 10 extra damage that was a high roll that time Woo, baby so that did 110 that time that was a high roll the last one might have been a low roll but I think that one was a high roll and the last one was normal. I'm hoping so because this is scary. There's earthquake number three here. If we just keep doing this. Okay, okay, 91. That's not bad. So let's go ahead and we just got to heal up. That's what, three earthquakes, I think. Uh, there's no way he doesn't get a single crit. A single crit wipes us on the floor. I think it wipes everyone. It definitely kills Stunky without a critical hit. It 
almost kill it definitely kills diago with a critical hit and i think it might kill gastrodon with a critical hit gastrodon is just so tanky and has an, uh, an extra what 100 hp on top of our diago so and it all depends about the fences so being a ground water type and typings might help resist it too i don't really know that sucks though okay so earthquake that's what five five earthquakes now so we're, i mean we're, we are stalling his earthquake pps which is what matter earthquake only has a max of 10 unless you use a pp max on it which may be 16 at that point so at the moment we are all good but this is just scary my dude okay and trick room okay trick room usually makes the faster pokemon slower and the slower pokemon faster but wasn't he faster than us but we don't actually know we don't know we all we've done is heal with us Okay, well, we got the chance. Let's go with Roar's Fear since he's a, a, a Steel type that's super effective. And Payback did nothing to us, which I don't like. He might just try to lower us down to where we feel safe and then use EQ. Roar of Fear did all right. I think we should go with the Roar Fear again. Payback, he's going to keep lowering our HP. As long as we're at, what, uh, 105 HP on estimate, we can survive anything he throws at us. You, uh, unless it's a critical hit Earthquake. Maybe a critical hit Earthquake at 105, but that's a bit of a stretch overall and okay so let's not deal with this i don't like the fact that he had a berry to heal up there okay mm, that just does okay so 115 i think that might be our limit i think we need to heal after this turn that's super close to being down to the 90s so i think we should go ahead and take a hyper potion we have 70 of them might as well use them heal up let's not be scared to use our potions and run out because we're definitely not going to run out there's no way we do even in cynthia's battle which i think is all going to be a stall fest and okay that did what 60 damage we're, we're chilling at the moment so we're all good here let's go with another aurora sphere if we could get a crit we might kill but i don't think so come on aurora sphere please and no crit i yeah i think even a crit wouldn't have killed a crit would kill now but it wouldn't have that that time and we we no 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 we have to heal we're at 86 hp if an earthquake comes in we're dead we have to heal there's no choice but that he's gonna full restore has he full restored yet on any of his pokemon i think there it is okay there's a full restore. That sucks, but we can deal with him now. And he only has, what, half his PP for Earthquake left, so we should be fine. And Aurora Sphere still has, like, 15 PP, I think. So we should be chilling. 16 out of 20. We're, we're all good here. So it takes, what, around four Aurora Spheres to be able to kill him. That's our best move against him. That's not bad. There was a critical hit. That's about a third of HP. We can take that. There's Trick Room again, though. Ouch. Oh, my God. I don't like that they twisted the dimensions. Let's go with... Let's keep up with the Roar Sphere. It's our best go. Gyro Ball? That's steel on steel. That's not going to do anything to us. Yeah, that did less than... Uh, what was the other move? Payback. That did less than Payback did to us. Interesting choice. There we go. Roar Sphere. If he keeps this up, we can keep this up easy day. Gyro Ball, again, go ahead. As long as we're above 115 HP, we, we should be able to survive a crit earthquake, which is all I care about. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. And yes, there we go. A critical hit landed and killed Bronzon. That's the last of Lucian's Pokemon. That means we're on our way to the... No, we're done with the Elite Four. It's, it's, it's Cynthia's time. It's time to face the champion of the Sinnoh region. Oh my god, this, this is going to be absolutely insane. Who thought that we would be here today, guys? I didn't think so. I honestly, after we lost our first Mon, I thought we were going to be in a... Sh stupidly over our under leveled position and there was no way that we could do this but i mean I, we're, we're going to it we're gonna go all in okay guys it's time it's time for the cynthia battle this is gonna be absolutely insane i don't know how we're gonna be do this six versus three pokemon i know how her garchomp is uh, this is gonna be scary spirit tomb. That's a scary pokemon to start off with too. Okay I'm glad I start off with luffy. I think this is actually a really good matchup for us Plus we want to save our other pokemon as much as possible save their pp our potions and uh, Basically everything. Let's go with sludge bomb. Let's see what he does because I know he's ghost But I think he's also something else not very effective that sucks that does almost nothing but we got the poison off which is awesome that's all we actually care about is the poison uh venom shock will now do double damage plus you know if flamethrower does more we ate that shadow ball too so we're chilling being a poison dark type that gives us an advantage okay so neither of us are super effective on each other but it's all good because we have the advantage here we do with that poison so let's go venom shock here and this should do double damage even so it should do more than sludge bomb yeah just bailey just bailey but it does do more and dark pulse Ooh, we're, we're poison dark we should eat that right yes there we go we can eat everything he sends at us so we're big chilling with spirit tomb we should be able to have spirit tomb down without too too many issues but it's still not going to be an easy battle there's that berry that's going to heal him up 
Do we want to heal here? I think that's the real question here. And I think we do. We don't want to take any risks here. We might as well heal up while we can. Since they know they can't do any massive damage to us anyways. Healing is definitely our best priority here. Let's go in with that. And mm, Dark Pulse, we know we're going to eat that. Would Flamethrower would be a better choice than Venoshock though? Because we want to save Sludge Bomb for the poison a chance. Venoshock doesn't have the chance to poison, but it does double damage on someone who's already poisoned. But Flamethrower just could be more effective because of his typing. Let's try Sucker Punch, honestly. Let's see how this goes. It's dark. It's first. That does good damage. That is, I think, as much as Ven more than Venoshock with poison, actually. So we're good there. And technically, we go first. So And we can survive another hit, I think, even as a crit. There's that poison. We might be able to finish him off with another Sucker Punch. Let's go for it. Come on, come on. A full restore. You know what? That's fine. We gotta waste one of her full restores. I think she gets two or three. So we, we wasted that. That's what's important. We wasted the full restore. We can deal with that from here on out. And Sucker Punch is gonna fail because of the healing, which really sucks. So honestly, we should have just healed. Let's go in with, honestly, let's go ahead and heal now. I think that's actually our best bet. Just make sure that we healed up here. Or, yeah, healing. I think healing. Is there anything else that we have? Um... PP sleep. Ooh, yes. Let's get let's fill up sucker punch there. That will give us four more uses of sucker punch since we've already used it a bit. And we're fine. I probably should have waited till it's out of PP completely, but we're fine. The leopard berry came in clutch. And we knew we could take that hit. So now we have to heal. We don't have a choice around this. Hey, okay, let's go ahead. Hyper potion this up. There we go. Heal up stunky. Perfect. Okay. What are we gonna do in this situation though? I think sucker punch is our best move, but it's only got five PP. If I could get her to waste all of her four stores here, that would be pretty solid. But I, I don't think her doing that. The AI is smart enough. There's no way we waste all of its four stores on its beginning Pokemon. Its ace is both Lucario and Jar Charm. So I don't see them doing that. Sludge Bomb, can we get the poison? There we go. The poison effect that's given us so much clout and advantage. Why clout? I don't know. But sure, we'll go with it. Come on. We live that. No crits. We're good. We're good. Okay, there's the poison damage. Poison is so beautiful. This is going to save us with a couple of these Pokemon. Now, I know there are some we can't poison, like Garchomp and Gastrodon, because they're both flipping ground, but we can do this. Okay, there we go. Finish you off. Heal up, and we should be all good here. This is going to be absolutely amazing. I can't believe the Shadow Ball. We should eat that hit without too many issues. My mic's been muted the entire time. Oh, my God. If you're cutting into this and you were hearing me talking, that means it was definitely a voiceover. I have no idea how long my mic's been muted, but I think it's been the entire hour and a half I've been doing this. Okay, Sucker Punch, let's go. Oh my god, this does good damage too. There we go, plus the poison. One more Sucker Punch. I want you to use a full restore. That's exactly what I want you to do, Cynthia. Use the full restore. Oh no, is that a special defense drop? Yeah, it did. That's gonna hurt us. Sucker Punch will kill it, but I, I really want her to use a full restore. That's what I want. Either way, if we full restore goes before Sucker Punch. Okay, it's gonna kill it. It's gonna kill it. Yeah, okay. That's down for the count. We could have healed too. That actually would have been really smart because we have no idea how much damage the next Pokemon's gonna do to us. Gastrodon. Okay, switch. Gastrodon's, uh, Gastrodon versus Gastrodon. That's our only option. No, I meant... Why did it press... I hate the controls in this flipping game. We're so screwed. I have to switch out now. That sucks. We just got a... That was horrible for us. Ah... Oh. It's gonna, it, it can't have Earthquake unless it got the TM. I don't think it has Earthquake. I know it has Water Drain, so we cannot use Muddy Water on it. It does have Earthquake. That would have killed Luffy, and we might still need Luffy. Okay, we can take an Earthquake. That's good. So 155, so that did 50, 86, 90 something damage. Okay, so we, we're gonna start off with Ancient Power, because Earth Power is our only move we can use to damage it outside of ancient power because muddy water is going to heal it i know it has a storm drain rock tomb that's what a multiple hitting move no but it can lower our stats speed okay well it's fine because we're going to heal that's all we got to do i don't think he can do anything to us we can honestly outstall the gastrodon they just have a better ability than we do which is the worst part but left our ancient power i don't know really, i don't know if it has ancient power that's going to give us stat boost it has to that's what i need it to do Come on, come on. Give me a stat boost. Rock Tomb. Yes, we avoided the attack. We're just going all in with Ancient Power. Because we can take any hit they give us. And especially if we miss, we can keep healing. They have leftovers too, which is the worst part. It really does. But we're not doing this for damage. We're doing it 
literally for the stat boost. I, and I'll, I will use my berries every time for this if I have to. Oh my god. Come on. Give me... We've used six in a row. Well, not six in a row, but six ancient powers now. And not a single one has ever given us a stat boost. And they just keep dropping our speed. I think they were already faster than us. So it doesn't matter. But it still sucks. Because that means Garchomp, Garchomp was going to be faster than us no matter what. Oh god, this is this is scary. Why couldn't I get an EQ TM? I needed that. And there wasn't one in the shop. Ancient Power. Rock Tomb is going to lower our speed again. It's fine. Is it guaranteed to lower your speed? It's got 100% speed stat lower every time now. And yet we can't get one speed boost or stat boost from Ancient Power. This is ridiculous. This is literally dumb. Ancient Power, I need you to give me a stat boost. Earthquake will survive it. We have to heal though, which sucks because we have to heal before we can replenish the PP of Ancient Power, which we're going to do. And we're going to keep using Ancient Power because I need stat boost. It's, I have to get, I think, two stat boosts to have a chance to win this. And it, it's the only way I'm going to be able to win it is stat boost. From ancient power there's nothing else i can do we can use recover instead of wasting our healing items too earthquake we should survive please survive yeah we survived that okay and recover you got this gastrodon you're fine recover only does half hp right 50 percent. so we're not going to go up to anywhere near full okay we can take hits again i wish we were at full hp though okay while we can let's go ahead and i mean we're at 156 now 162 okay oh my god i don't know how we're gonna do this guys we've got one more uh, five pokemon more pokemon one pokemon down so where's our berries no oh please tell me i have elixirs left i don't i used everything that i had for great okay so no more uh, ancient powers we're screwed and they have storm drain so earth power let's go and it will earthquake and everything will kill so if we can't kill this with our gastrodon we can't win we have to kill Gastrodon. Okay, we do lots of damage to it, and we've used one full restore. I, I have to hope that we have enough. I really, really do. I have to know hope that Earth... Because the Storm Drain, they'll heal from Muddy Water, so we can't use it. Let's let's use our Hyper Potion, because we don't need a full restore, and this should give us plenty of HP. Yeah, up to... Yeah, basically full. Basically full. I'm actually so upset about the recording audio, too. I can't believe that. I forgot I had it, my mic muted from the entire time that I was level grinding i'm actually so upset by that and i didn't realize it until the champion i just happened to look down and see that my my mic was red that's so upsetting okay we have to just attack because uh, they just they just keep getting to heal too earthquake we'll survive it i think even with the crit okay we were at 153 that took us down to 80 so that means it did 53 plus 20 so 73 so that's 146 so 150 hp is what we have for have to have our earthquake if it lands a crit we have to have 150 plus hp a 151 technically that's horrible i wanted to use a full restore but at the same time i don't want them to use a full restore i'd rather them use a full restore on any other pokemon than gastrodon oh uh, at least we're healed earthquake oh my god how many earthquakes is that i wasn't counting this should take 14 hp so 140 to 152 this should give us enough hp to live a critical earthquake so we won't have to heal till next turn so we can attack again yeah because it gives us basically 14 hp each time okay so we can we can live a crit as long as it's not a high roll crit earthquake again yep we should be fine and yeah we lived it at 70 okay earth power come on there we go oh that was so close that was a critical hit I bet they use a full restore. I have to heal this turn. I don't have a choice. If I knew they were going to heal, I would go for it. But uh, we can get a free heal off without taking damage, which would be really good. So either way, it works out for us, I think. No matter what, I don't know. I think we can... T I just don't know what we're going to do here, guys. I really am. We're down to 64 Hyper Potions. I have been here before in the live stream, but I don't think I had nearly 60. I think I had like 30 when I did this. Okay. And are you going to use a full restore? Please. I kind of want you to. It used Earthquake. Okay. We got it. There we go. We're good. We can survive another earthquake as long as it's not a crit. And this will take us to 138, 39, 40 something HP, which is actually just under what we need. So if they use anything but a critical earthquake, we will be fine. I, I think I have to take the risk because it, this should finish it off. Let's go for it. Earthquake, please don't crit. Please don't crit. If it crits here the one time. Okay, we're good. Back down to 70 HP. Earth power, please finish him off come on yes there we go so now we at least have a couple earth powers left i was worried about it because once we run out earth powers there was nothing we could do because they were going to kill boys with bunny water or earthquake who's next oh god james is about to send out rosa raid okay it's a grass poison we'll send out our poison type that's our best chance we can't poison it I, actually we might be able to poison it still but we have flamethrower as well 
We just have to heal first. This is scary. Let's heal. Hyper potion up. Let's see what they're gonna do to it. I'm assuming that they're gonna use something like poison powder, but that won't affect us. So actually, we should be in a really good situation here. Dazzling gleam. Ah, is that super effective on us? No, it's not, but that was damaging. So let's go ahead and heal more and more time. I'm expecting another dazzling gleam, which only has 10 PP. Maybe actually, yeah, I think dazzling gleam has 15. Oops. There we go. How much does that really do? So we're at 218. The 131, so it does 70, 88, 80, like 88 damage. So we should be able to survive it. Let's go with Sludge Bomb. We hope we need a poison. I don't think we can poison it because of a po uh, it, it is a poison type. But there's that berry heal. There we go. A little bit of HP back. 115, perfect. So we should be able to survive another hit. And actually, I don't, yeah, we can. But a crit will kill us. Okay, Sludge Bomb did nothing. I mean, it did a solid amount for being a grass poison type, which is actually good news because that means, but the stab in there, I'm hoping Flamethrower will do more. We're going for Flamethrower neck. I just wanted to see how much that would do in comparison. Dazzling Gleam, there we go. Saw that coming, there we go, down to 135. Okay, battle. Flamethrower, let's go, come on. Yep, I knew it. They outspeed though, which sucks. I hate the fact that they outspeed. Come on, flamethrower. Please, 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 please. And that did solid amount of damage. Actually, please use your full restore. I want them to use their full restore. This is the perfect Pokemon for them to use their full restore on. If they could use it, please. I think she'll save it, though, for Garchomp. I really do. I think the AI is smart enough because Cynthia's AI is OP. Yeah, there we go. That sucks. Maybe we should go for Dazzling Gleam. I mean, not Dazzling Gleam. We're going to heal until we can get a chance to go for Sludge Bomb. And I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb. I'm thinking it's not going to kill it. But I'm hoping what they'll do is it's so low HP that it will automatically trigger the AI to go into a, a full restore. That's my strategy here. I don't think it's going to work, but we don't know. Plus, it just might kill, especially if we get a crit. There's Dazzling Gleam again. I think that's nearly 10. I think that's nearly 10. That's at least halfway. And that killed it. That was a critical hit. I mean, that's really good, but at the same time, really bad for us. I know they have one full restore. It's about to send out Milotic. Milotic. Okay. Honestly, we can, ooh, we can, we can do this. The problem with Militic is we can't use, we can use Gastrodon, but Gastrodon is not going to do much damage, and we only have Earth Power with it. But we can poison this guy and stall him. We can poison and Venom Shock this guy, and it'll just kill our Dialga because of being a Steel type. So, okay, Scald. How much does that do though? I'm so worried about the damage amounts. That was a lot of damage, and Scald can burn us. They have a Flame Orb though. That means we can't poison them. No, you kidding me. I'm going full restore because I want full HP. We might have to... Because, uh, I mean, we eventually the flame war will kill them. We might have to, to stall. We just might have to. Okay, no, we can take one more hit. Oh, they burned us, though. Now we can't. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, oh wait. How do we get through that? I wasn't reading. Okay, that's fine by me. Okay, let's go Sludge Bomb again. I mean, we're not going to get... Sludge Bomb's almost out of PP, though. Oh, God. Please don't kill our Stunk Tank. If they kill Stunky, we're, we're in trouble. I always said Stunk Tank was useless for this, but it's actually being... It's been really helpful for the last two Mons. So, so far. There's two more Mons after this. We've killed the Gastrodon. I don't know who the last one is outside of Garchomp. I think she sends in Garchomp next. So bag hyper potion I, I will heal stall this thing because if they full restore they're just gonna get burned again and that will waste it so this actually might be the play i i have plenty of potions to do so i'm just worried about using them all before we get to guard chomp oh god there's the burn again is it gonna free the burn i'm trying to tell what is is that my ability opposing my take is hurt by its burn no we have ability yeah there we go hurt by its burn okay Yep, full restore time. Because that's going to give us HP and get rid of that burn. Because it's only a chance for Skull to burn us. Okay, what are we going to do here? I'm so, so nerve-wracked. Okay, Skull, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Yeah. And there's that burn again. There we go. At least it's getting damaged. Okay. Battle. And let's go with Sludge Bomb. Come on. Thought about Sucker Punch, so we go first, but I don't know. As long as they don't crit when we do that, it's it's scary, but we'll be fine. We can take it if we're full HP, but otherwise we're screwed. 
There we go. Th this also has recover, though. That's something else we have to remember. Milo tickets recover. Oh, God. We, we, I don't know. I mean, recover only has 10 p PP. We have way more potions than that. So, I mean, maybe we can get through it. Maybe. Oh, this is so scary, though. Did I just hype a potion and not full restore? God dang it. We might actually might die here then. I don't think it will kill us, but I needed to full restore there. I needed that. I need a full restore. I'm assuming she's going to use recover soon. I know it has recover. I've battled this both before, and I hated Milotic because of it. Full restore. We only have 28 full restores left, which is scary. But, I mean, it's just... I don't... I, there's nothing else that we can do here. Okay, we're back up to full HP. Skull. I should I should have leveled up to 65. I mean, I, I made a couple dumb choices, but there were a lot of things I couldn't avoid here. They really were. Okay, I'm expecting them. Okay, let's go with Sucker Punch. I just want to see how much damage it will do. It failed. That's great. Yep, there's Recover, too. We could have got a hit in with... Oh. That doesn't that doesn't heal it all the way, though. That's one Recover. We got a, nine more Recovers, and it's burned. We don't have enough Sludge Bombs, though. Okay, so we're going to use Venno Shot. Oh, Flamethrower's not going to do anything. Okay, Scald. Yeah, I'm expecting that. Don't kill us. Uh, this is just a stall fest, guys. This is literally a stall fest. I'm at nearly two out one hour and forty two minutes. This is insane. Venor Shock is so much weaker. It's got twenty less power or twenty five less power. Okay. Um, Hyper Potion heal up. I don't want to use my full restores. We could use it, but this is only gonna take us to one forty six. One fifty six. My bad. I added wrong. Oh god. This is so scary. We have to hype a potion again. There's that burn again. We have to full restore now. I can't take a burn. I can't deal with it. it oh my god. It's just, I, I don't think we can stall fest this. I don't think we can stall their recovers. It takes us too long to get to their recover and actually use it. Because they use it at such a low HP. Oh my god. I mean, if we, if we can win this, this is going to be insane. I don't know how we're going to do this. I really don't. What's funny is if I beat this and I couldn't beat it in my live series, but I beat it in a Nuzlocke series and I came in with four Pokemon, uh, six Pokemon against Cynthia and like three legendaries and I can't come in here and I come in here and beat this in a Nuzlocke and with three Pokemon, I'm going to be ecstatic. Okay, we have to battle. Let's go with, uh, I need to take this down, but I, I almost want, okay. Sludge Bomb's not going to do enough. Let's use Venno Shock again. There's that recover. Okay, at least we're going to get some damage on it, but that would have been a good time to heal as well. It really would have been, because we would have healed up to full with a free heal. It's fine, though. We'll, we'll deal with it. There's some damage on it. The worst thing about burn, uh, burn and poison, same thing, but the reason I want poison over burn is for the simple fact that Venno Shock has double power when, when uh, it's poisoned. It doesn't now. It's stuck at 60, so that's the worst part. We're going to four store they're getting a lot of burns which is running through our four stores a lot faster than it should this is insane this elite four is taking i mean this entire end of the game this is supposed to be a finale and it's literally like two hours long i mean i can edit it down but this is gonna be insane i'm gonna this is oh this is this is nuts this is bonkers okay um veno shock we have the hp we should live it we're still in green so come on please don't crit Oh, God. I I kind of want one crit when we're at full, just because I want to see how much a crit does. Okay, there's the burn damage. There we go. Awaiting your directions. I know, Leffy. I know. You're going to go up to 142 HP. 142 HP right now. Jeez. I'm, I'm so glad I bought so many potions, though. If we didn't have all these, we, we wouldn't have won this. That's still a low amount of HP. That sucks so much. Ouch. There's the burn. Now we have the full restore again. That gets up. They get a burn about every other turn. They've only used what two recovers too. I'm and I, I go through way more potions and stuff than they do. And I need potions for the the guard charm. That's that's insane. This is literally insane. Cause I have to stop the guard charm before he sets up. If I stop the guard charm before he sets up, we'll be fine. I I can't believe this. Oh my god. Oh come on come on come on. Okay no crit. A burn! You just got a burn! We just healed it! That's insane. That's literally insane. We're gonna... Do I full restore and... 
Actually, I think I use a Hyper Potion. It saves the full restore. It keeps our burn, but we'll go back up to full HP. And it's the best time to do it because I think they have this is a recover turn or they're going to recover next turn. So there it is. I called it. And that it's insane because they go back up to the same spot each time. They really do because they can't get them any lower than that. It's fine though because they can't burn us now. So all we have to do is know we have enough HP to survive. They have two more Pokemon after this, not one more. Oh god, did I read that wrong earlier? Most likely. Okay, let's go with Flamethrower. Why not? We're just gonna start using our Flamethrower at PPs. Ice Beam? Okay. They must be out of Scalds. They they might be. Which would be so good for us. Flamethrower is not gonna do anything. We know that. It's a water type, and Militic is super, super tanky. But I just, I'm trying to save my last Sludge Wave and my Venno Shocks. Okay. Um... We're going to hype a potion up. I want to see if they're out of scalds. Maybe they're not using scalds because we're not burned anymore. I think scald is 25 PP. Oh my god. Ice beam again? I mean, that's not doing a whole lot to us. It actually does less than scald, which is kind of interesting. I mean, scald is stab, so that kind of makes sense. See, now with the burn, we're at the same HP we were at with scald. Or, yeah, scald. Fl flamethrower because I'm saving my PP. We should survive this, even with the crit. Okay, a crit, we won't survive. That was a crit, and we survived. Okay, so we can survive a crit at 135 HP from an Ice Beam. That's really, really good to know, actually. So, at least that's a positive. We learned something else. So, we, yeah. So, we need at least 40 HP left, no matter what. Okay. So, bag, full restore time. Let's see if they have any Scalds left. Because we need full HP, and Hyper Potion won't do it. I want to see if they have any skulls left, though. That's what I really want to see. Recover. I'm not surprised by that. That's four. We're almost halfway through their recovers. That's full HP. They use that really early, though. I'm assuming that's because they're low on PP. I'm interesting. They might go into struggle, which we can outheal. Flamethrower. Let's keep it up. Ice Beam again. Are they out of skulls? The skull only has, like, 10 PP. I, I mean, I think we healed more than 10 times. Maybe it has 15. I know flamethrower doesn't do anything, guys. Trust me. But I'm saving my PP. Okay, this... If we, I, I, I'm going to be amazed if we can get through this. I'm going to be in other shock. I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is going to be such a long video. But it's going to be super intense and good. I'm going to have to... Not a frozen... Oh, well, well, we should... That four store should heal frozen, right? It, it is a status condition. Oh... I really hope so. Bag, full restore. Plus, we need full HP anyways. Come on, please heal froze. Yeah, thawed out. Ha, lol jokes. <laughs> Screw you and your freeze. Freeze doesn't happen nearly as much. Okay, Ice Beam. Ice Beam also only has 10 PP. We might struggle stall them before they can even recover stall. We can stall their recover, which would actually be awesome because struggle does more damage. Because then they'll just have to go to recover next. Yeah, they have Ice Beam again. They have to be out of Ice Beam soon. They do. I mean, they've used a bunch of them. That's all they've been using since they stopped using Scald. And I think they're out of Scalds. So they've got Scald, Ice Beam, Recover. There's one more move, I think, that we don't know about. So that's interesting. Okay, and let's go while we can. Yeah, this is the perfect time to use a Hyper Potion. We still have 50 Hyper Potions. So at the moment, we're chilling. But we only have 20-something uh, full restores, which is scary. Okay, there's Recover again. So that's five. If you want to have only recover left, I'd be so happy. I'd be super happy. We're halfway through the recovers, and we've used about 20 potions. 25 between those and full restores, I think, to get here. Ice Beam? They're not out of Ice Beams yet. Ice Beam has a max of 16 PP when you use a, a PP max. So I don't know. I doubt that they have that, though. Usually they'll have items and whatnot, but I doubt they actually have something like this. Okay. This is scary. Okay, we can survive a hit. Flamethrower, let's go. We're halfway through our flamethrowers, though, which is scary as well. But, I mean, Skunk Tank pulling through. Skunk Tank is the boss on this. There we go. Okay. Critical hit flamethrower. Jeez, that's not the move we want a critical hit on, but it works, I guess. It's damage. 
Okay, now it's hyper potion time. There we go. Heal all the way back up. Well, not all the way. We're gonna go to 183 out of two something, but it's something. There we go. Okay, Ooh, baby. Ice beam again. How are you not out of ice beams yet, lady? Be out of ice beams. It's only got 10. You're ignoring me. You're a joke. I could hyper potion again here. I also could attack. Let's hyper potion. Let's make sure we're at full HP. Why not? So it saves us a full restore because we're at that. We might as well. I think that's the smart choice. Plus, we're just wasting their moves. There's recover, which is they used that when they weren't even half. That's six. They have four recovers left. They might be out of ice beams now. They used that super early. They, I'm pretty sure they still have one move. Scald, ice beam, recover. I'm pretty sure that's all we've seen. Flamethrower, let's go. With Drew Milotic. Oh no, Lucario, flamethrower, yes, we get a flame flamethrower on this guy, which is super effective, which is good because steel doesn't take poison, come on, yes, he ate that though, uh, please tell me we're at full HP, if he uses a fighting move, we're dead, okay, um, shoot here, I wish Gastrodon was full HP, should I, I? I think I have to take the risk. Full restore. Use it on Gastrodon. I need Gastrodon at full HP. Please don't kill us. Because Gastrodon can do more damage than Luffy. Come on, please, please, please. Flash Cannon. Steel type. That's super effective. Dark. No, we're dead. We survived that. No way. No way. That's absolutely incredible. That's insane. I can't believe that. I, I can't believe that whatsoever. Oh my god. Okay, so now we can switch over to Gastrodon. Because Gastrodon is a tank and it's such a high level that no matter what, even with a Bone Rush or a Close Combat or Force Palm, we should be able to survive it. So what is this going to be? Aura Sphere. This is his most powerful fighting type move he gets once he unlocks. And we took that. It hurt a lot. I'm not lying to you. We hurt a lot. But Aurora Sphere, Aurora Sphere has 20 PP though. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Okay, I okay. So we do fourteen from. We have to do math here. So we were at fourteen from one twenty six. That takes us down to one twenty two to one twelve. One two thirty nine minus one twelve. Though what is that? I'm gonna do this on paper, guys. That's hundred and twenty seven. We are just short of being able to to do this. Plus we have earth power. Okay. We need to hyper potion. We need to be at least 127 to 130 HP, basically, to be able to survive a hit and be able to attack. So if he uses almost anything else, we'll be fine. Aurora Sphere, we, even with the crit, though, we should live, right? So 127, was that a crit? Yes, that's a crit. So we can survive a crit. We can heal stall this. There's no way we... I, if I do this... I'm calling myself a Pokemon Master. I don't care what anyone says. This is insane. If we're beating Cynthia with a Gastrodon, a Dialga, and a Stunk Tank, this is going to be insane. I should use the Hyper Potion. I should use the Full Restore there. Aura Sphere, though. We can still live it, even with the crit, though. There we go. Perfect. Plus that. So that's going to take us up to, in a Hyper Potion, 191, 204. I think this is what's going to give us... And we should be fine. That's what, three Aura Spheres? Because we switched in one. We used one to figure out the HP. Yeah, so this should be this that should have been three. So 17 more Aura Spheres. We have the potions for that. And Gastrodon's such a high level, I think Muddy Water could probably two shot uh Garchomp, because they're gonna try to set up. And then we have other Pokemon too. That they still have one full restore though. And I knew she was saving it. I knew she was saving it for her flipping Garchomp. I just knew it. We're going to full restore back up to full HP here, just in case. But I don't think we need it, but I, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Aura Sphere. Okay, that's four. Is that four or five? I've lost count already. I wasn't, because I was talking. I lost my train of thought, guys. Four or five. I'm, that's insane. Oh, my God. We're at, we're at 136. I said that. Okay, we can attack. Hey, Earth Power, let's go. We should survive. We should survive. There's even with the crit. Yes, we survived. Please tell me that was a crit. That was not a crit. Earth power though, kill it, kill it. Yes, and it killed Lucario. Oh my God. Okay, here the problem is, if they send in Garchomp next, 
we're screwed. I need them to send in Milotic. I need them to send in Milotic so I can heal. That's what I need. Because I can send Stunk Tank back in and heal Gastrodon in Stunk Tank. Easy peasy. Who are they sending in? Send in Milotic. Yes. Yes. Come back out, Stunk Tank. Yes, this is perfect. Guys, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. This is going to be insane. This is going to be insane. I can't believe this is a two hours. But this 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 this, this is all jokes. I, if I win this, I, 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 I don't even know. I, I, I'll be amazed. I don't think Milotic has any moves left. Okay, so bag. Okay, we need to heal before we can heal up a Gastrodon. We have to have make sure Gastrodon is healed before Garchomp comes in. Because we need to be able to switch to Gastrodon for Garchomp. And then Dialga's the backup, and Stunk Tank's the last hope. They only have Recover! They have three Recovers left. That's the, they're going to struggle. That's awesome. But I also don't have any moves on Stunk Tank if we do get the Garchomp and everyone else dies. So, okay, and full restore on Twilight Skies. Oh, baby! Having leftovers on Twilight Skies is the smartest move I've made, too. It saved me so many times. This is so good for us. There you go. Use your recovers. Do I have anything else I can do? Because, I, I mean, I'm going to try to save my moves. Okay, bad. No! Oh, I clicked run. I was like, there's no running. Luffy is waiting for your directions. I know. Okay, bag. So we're at full HP on everyone except for Luffy, which is fine. And I don't have anything I can do. I can have... Oh... Poisoning, paralysis, confusion. None of these really work for me. Well, let's start using flamethrowers on Milotic. It's not going to do anything, but... They have, what, two recovers left? Maybe one? And we'll be fine? Oh, baby, this is not... Not nice. But if we can win this with three Pokemon at equal levels, I can't believe this. This, the most insane finale, that's what this is going to call be called. We just got to do it. because They can't attack us. They Yeah, that's got to be their last recover. Maybe they have one more. Maybe if I miscounted. But, I mean, we're just going to attack. And eventually we're going to go into struggle. But, I mean, it's, there's nothing else that we can do about it. We can't heal. We don't have berries. There's nothing that we can do except for... I mean, we could be switching out, but that's just a waste. I'm not doing that in case if something happens. I know I can do this with Stunk Tank, so we're all good here. Flamethrower. We have three Flamethrowers, five Venoshocks, and two Sludge Waves. They switched out. They have to go to Garchomp now. Oh, God. Flamethrower is not going to do anything to Garchomp. I need to do this. Oh, God. I have to switch out now. Yeah, that does nothing. Because he's going to set up. He's not going to attack me. He's going to set up. I know it. So, Garchomp. I mean... I, I mean, I'm guarantee you he sets up. If he attacks me, we should still live, but I, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for a setup move and not attack. Earthquake. We survived that. We survived that. That stab. Yes. Okay. Oh, God. We recover our HP from that. That would have killed Dialga. I know it would have. The only reason we survived, I think, is because of our tankiness with the fact that we're also a water type. Okay. Bag. It's fine. It's fine. Full restore. Heal up. If it doesn't get a crit, we can we can out we can uh, we can do this. I don't know what I don't know if he'll still go for earthquake because we switched, but maybe use earthquake again. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. This is our best chance. If he crits, we're dead. Maybe I should I should sacrifice Stunky. That's what I should do. Oh. Okay, so if I switch into Stunky, that gets rid of one more Earthquake. We don't have to worry about the crit for one more turn. And then, with that in mind, I can go to Dialga and go for War of Time. Okay, let's try it. Because And then if Dialga lives once, we can heal. Okay, so come on out. Swap Pokemon. I know Stunky's going to die here. I'm I, I'm expecting it. He's a ground dragon type. He can't do anything with Flamethrower, Sucker Punches Out, or Sludge Wave. There's Earthquake. We're going to die. I'm, I'm expecting to die. Yeah, that's fine. That, that was the smart sacrifice. We're just wasting PP. That's four. Is that three or four? I'm pretty sure that's... Okay. And... We're going out... We, we, we're taking the risk because there's no way we're going to be able to do anything else with Dialga. So we have to go for Roar of Time. If we can get a Roar of Time off, it will be killer. Come on, Roar of Time. Swords Dance? Roar of Time, please. This is the perfect time for you. This is the perfect time. This is the perfect time. Land, land, land. Come on. Come on, please kill it. Please kill it. Please. Yes! We did it! We did it! This is my Lutic left. My Lutic only has recover. We killed the Garchomp. 
We win! No, I'm not gonna switch. It doesn't matter if I switch or not. Guys, I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Yeah, because you're not a Pokemon master. There's no way. I don't care that we have to recharge. They have Mirror Coat. Ha! We can just use Slash. Mirror Coat does reflective of special moves. Oh, that's great. This is awesome. We can just use Slash. And it doesn't matter because we still have Gastrodon. Oh my god, Slash does nothing, but they only have Mirko and they can't do anything. We, we, we win. Oh my god. Oh my god. We beat, we, we beat it. We, 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 I, I can't believe it. God, I, I can't believe it. Why did they use Mirko once on Stunky? They could have one-shotted us. What? What was the AI thinking? I don't care. I'm... Oh my god! They're gonna struggle soon too. I think Miracard only has 10 PP. I don't think they're gonna live that long. I won't let this end yet. This match is too fun to... It's gonna end and that was not no easy match, Cynthia. This was the hardest Pokemon match of my life. I don't care what you have to say. My Sleep Lock Elite Four member with just one Pokemon was nothing compared to this. Oh my god. We did it. Guys, I can't... Two hours, two hours on this recording, but we did it. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't be happy. Oh my, everyone I was talking to at PAX was like, there's no way you win this. And I, I agreed with them. I was like, yeah, there's no way I get through this, but I, I did it. Uh, there's your last full restore, bro. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, you have no attacking moves. I'm just going to keep using slash because you're using mirror coat. And as soon as you go into struggle, I'm going to go for flash cannon. Or over time, it doesn't matter by that point. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, this this has been the most up and down journey. I have no idea how many deaths. I know we came into this with like 18 because we lost Kara at the beginning. So, and we lost what, four? So we came we came through this with 22 deaths. I mean, that's bad. That we did. I think we did better on my sleep lock, but I'm okay with this. This Fire Red's a much easier game compared to this. Especially since it's not randomized. Oh my god. We did it. We're, there's a critical hit. It does nothing either. Slash does nothing to this guy. Milo Tick is so tanky, but we got through it. Oh my god. Stunky was the key. Stunky was the key. If we could, couldn't have outdone Milo Tick the way we did with Stunky, we wouldn't have been able to do this. I'm so glad we didn't lose Stunky. I can't. Th this is insane. I, I'm so happy, guys. Why do you have another forest ore? Just stop it. Uh, should I just use Aurora of Time? I, I just want it to be over, but Miracle will kill us if we use Aurora of Time and land it. Like, it's, if we get to half HP, we'll use it. Because I just need to make sure we actually kill it, and I don't know because it's not super effective. It's a really high power stab, though. They, they're going to be out of Miracle soon, though. How many? I think this, uh, Miracle must have more than 10 PP. Because I'm almost out of slashes. I have seven slashes left. This is insane. This is That's a critical hit. Yeah, there's mirror coat. It won't go anywhere. Another slash, and then we can uh, roar time it. Because the slash and the burn will do enough. If you want to get another crit slash, I'll be fine with that. There we go. That's a critical hit. Mirror coat. Okay, let's go for roar time here. And Because no matter what, Gastrodon should be able to finish it off. Like, roar of time. There we go. This should kill it. We should, we should win. Yeah. There we go. We did it. I, 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 I don't even know what to say. Okay, I don't know what to say. That was incredible. Oh my god. Defeated champion Cynthia. I know. I've known for five minutes. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And now you become the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now the newest champion. I don't care about 13 grand anymore. Thank you. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. I don't know if I was coolness, but I made some good calculations. Although together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad to take part of crowning Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. I will gladly, gladly step onto that lift. Oh, guys, that's the end. I see. I just want to see the. I just want to see the end screen, and then we can end the video. I'm. I am. I don't know how long this finale is gonna be. I. I really don't know. Look at me walk down it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it. Uh, 
The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. I know. Oh, there's Professor Rowan. <sighs> Your last battle was splendid. You weren't there to watch it. Oh, uh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm, a child. I enlisted for my Pokedex project could come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. I shouldn't call you a child anymore as you've grown into a real champion. Still enjoy enthousi enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Can we get through the dialogue, please? I just want, I just, I just want my award, okay? I, I, I have traveled and I have lost a lot of Pokemon to be here. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. When did you become champion, Cynthia? Welcome to the Hall of Fame, because she's actually quite young. Your names will be recorded for posterity, a posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names of you and your Pokemon. Remember your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. She will make a permanent record of your achievement. Oh my god. I, I'm so happy. There we go. Guys, we did it. We did it. It saved. There's, there it is. It's Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Oh. Luffy. Boys. Boys was key. So was Luffy. Twilight Skies. Those were my three best Pokemon. No doubt. Crazy Monkey, you did good. I'm sorry I lost you early on in the Elite Four. Omni, same for you. And Metachan, I don't care about you. You were literally only there because I lost Kara. And if I'd care, it would have been easier. Oh my god. We did it. That's that's my squad. League champion, congratulations. Anyways, guys, that's where we're going to end off today's episode. The finale of our Pokemon Building Diamond Nuzlocke. Pokefine will start up at the next upload date that this was supposed to go up. And I'll see you all later, Rockstars. Peace, peace.